to for each of the following function find the small corresponding change in x delta x with the given small change in y so this one is delta y so small change we know that delta y divided by delta x is approximately or almost the same with dy over dx now we wanted to find delta x right so we change place Delta x is equal to delta y divided by dy over dx. Okay. Because we want to substitute. So, from the question, we can find dy over dx. And we can also find delta y. Because it gives us the small change in y. So, okay, in A, y is equal to 2x3 over 2. So, to get dy over dx, dy over dx is equal to... So, here the power, we multiply with the constant. So, 2 times 3 over 2, x, 3 over 2 minus 1. So, 3 over 2 minus 1. So, this one we get 3x. So, this one we get 1 over 2, which is equal to 3 third x. Okay. So, we see here the value of y decreases. Okay. This one decreases. We can see that the value is supposed to be negative. So, from this one to this one. Okay, before that, to substitute this one, we need to have value. So, we should see at what point. So, this one, from 16, we take from. So, here yeah, this one is. So, we know that when y is equal to 16. But then, to substitute here, we need the value of x. So, we substitute back inside this one. When y is equal to 16, 16 is equal to 2x3 over so this one so we bring to the other side a this one is uh, x power of 3 third 2 so we bring third to the other side x cube is equal to 8 square which is equal to 64 so x is equal to cube root of 64 so here we get 4 so we know that x is equal to 4 when x is equal to 4 dy over dx is equal to 3 third 4 which is equal to 3 times 2 which is equal to 6 So now we have dy over dx. So now we can find delta y. So delta y is equal to change in y. So change from this one to this one. So 15.7 minus 16. So here we get negative 0 0.3. So this one is the change in y. So we have both. We can find delta x. Delta x is equal to delta y. Which is negative 0 0.3 divided. dy divided by dx is 6. So, negative 0 0.3 divided by 6. Negative 0 0.3 divided by 6, we get negative 0 0.05. This one, the change is in unit. So, by is equal to x plus 2 divided by 2. So, when y increases from this one to this one. Okay, so this, this one is our y. So, dy over dx so, you see here, this one is over 2. So, you basically can make it as x over 2 plus 2 over 2 or x over 2 plus 1. So, when you differentiate x over 2, we are left with half. When you differentiate 1, you get 0. So, this one is our dy over dx. So, you don't really need to find the value of x. Because we say I say that this one, we need to have values. We already have values without variable. Okay. So, dy over dx is done. So, now you see here. We choose 1, what is our delta y? So, delta y is from 2 to 2 plus p. So, delta y is equal to, so this one to this one, right? So, we have 2 minus 2 plus p minus 2. So, here we have 2 plus p minus 2, which is equal to p. So, now we have delta y. So, change in x is equal to delta y, which is equal to p, divide dy over dx dy over dx is 1 over 2 which is equal to p when you divide fraction actually you multiply opposite so you get 2p so here the change in x is 2p unit 